What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. FantasyTeamAdvisors.com, bringing home the bacon MLB DFS video. We are back with another video. I honestly didn't think I'd make one just because we have a total of six games. We have three games early and then technically a three-game main slate. Not the best slate. I'm not a fan of this slate, but we are going to break it down for you. We're going to look at the pitchers, the hitters, the weather concerns. So I kind of waited a little bit because a lot of the pitchers weren't even... Uh, showing up yet, so I didn't want to have a very incomplete video. But if this is your first time here, welcome, awesome, however you found us, big shout out. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Our goal is to get 10,000 subscribers before the All-Star break, so we got a couple of months to go. Super excited for it. We do have a couple of contests, way to win, uh, free content brought to you by FantasyTeamAdvisors.com. First one, be a subscriber to this channel, like this video, and tell me who's going to hit a home run and what inning. If you get that correct, you will win a free month of MLB content. Another way is be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. And if this video gets 50 likes, one random comment will be chosen with random.org to receive a free month of MLB DFS content. And you can play both of them. So if you, you win both of them uh, randomly, you will be on your way there. So... We are also having a contest. Anyone who signs up with FTA Plus uh, through the month of May, one person will be chosen to have the rest of the MLB season covered, which does include a first part of the NFL season in September and October. So, uh, yeah, a lot of ways to win. So, yeah, hopefully this video isn't too long just because the fact that there aren't very many games. So we're going to jump right into it. If you guys do have any questions, comments, concerns, things you would like to see in these videos that maybe you aren't, definitely comment below. Also, in the description of this video is today's article, which you can go check out. So we go over all of these, all of the pictures, all of the bats. And then if you want to see ones we like the most out of there, a little abbreviated version, we do have the article there. So the first game on the slate, the Mets at the Reds. You got Kodai Singa versus Derek Law. I would like this game a little bit more if it were in New York, but we we are not there. We are in Cincinnati. Singa's never faced him before. I like him. Uh, we've used him. He's dominated, and he gets a plus matchup for him. Derek Law, on the other hand, I mean, he's only seen 16 of the Mets bats, 25K percentage, and a 400 batting average. So these numbers are going to be skewed because obviously not, not there a lot. But, and if this works, I don't know why it wouldn't work. Well, anyway, if if this doesn't end up working for whatever reason, we will go through all of the uh, BVPs together instead of game by game like we're used to. I don't know why it's not connecting. Must be down for some reason. So we will go over the BVP at the end of this video, so definitely stick around. Um, I would look like Singa here. I just I don't trust Derek Law here. I don't know how long DP is going to go into the game, and I just don't trust him. So if I am taking one, at Singa. Again, with this being, I really don't feel comfortable. Yeah, it's not working. I really don't feel comfortable doing cash games today just because there's three early, three late. And I'm not playing the all-day slates if they are available. Probably only GPP for early and GPP for uh, main slate tonight. Next game, the Padres at the Minnesota Twins. You got Yu Darvish versus Bailey Ober. Honestly, I like both of these pitchers. Uh, I did pick up Ober in my season-long league a couple of weeks ago and uh, haven't been disappointed. Darvish, uh, his career numbers against the Twins, 39 plate appearances, 38.5K percentage, a 243 batting average. It's kind of high strikeout rate there uh, for him. And then on the other flip side, you got Bailey Ober, nine, only nine plate appearances, 11.1K percentage, a 250 batting average there. So not a ton of of not a ton of exposure to either of these guys seeing the other teams, but I don't mind either of them. The Twins have been doing okay. The problem is uh, Darvish, when he's on, he's one of the top pitchers uh, in the game still. Got a ton of strikeout potential, but it just depends if he's got his stuff because it is he is on the road. He's going to get up against Bailey Ober. Ober, on the other hand, only facing nine of the Padres. It's kind of a scary lineup if just on paper, but if they don't perform, uh, they really haven't seen Ober much. So honestly, I like both of these 
if you are playing cash for whatever reason, I think Darvish would be your cash option. I think Ober would be your GPP. Let's see if this is working now. Nope. For whatever reason, it is not where this works, but that does not. So that makes sense. White Sox at the Royals is next. You got Mike Clevenger versus Brady Singer. Clev, 45 plate appearances, a 159 batting average, striking out 40% of the KC batters, which I really like. You know, it just depends. Um, Kansas City's been hitting and winning games at home lately, but they aren't a good team. So that's what's crazy to me. Um, this is why it's a GPP only day because I like Clev on paper against Kansas City, but then we saw what Kansas City did yesterday. Flip side of that, Brady Singer, 83 plate appearance, 253. The White Sox have been hitting terribly as well. Honestly, I like both of these pitchers. Again, I am only strictly doing GPP, so I will have multiple lineups, and these guys will be in them. So uh, I will have exposure to both of these pitchers. I don't know why the pictures aren't working. I wonder if my internet's going out. Hopefully this video is recording and, and then uploads for you. Flip side of that, you've got Rays at the Yankees. So the Yankees just swept the Oakland, the mighty Oakland Athletics at home. Now they get the Rays, who they just faced last weekend, where they should have took two of three, but they lost the Sunday rubber match. You got Drew Rasmussen versus Domingo Herman. Rasmussen, 43 plate appearances, 32.6K percentage, and a 195 batting average. These are fantastic numbers. I think they'll go very overlooked um, because they are facing a Yankees team who's put up a ton of runs but again that was against Oakland so that's kind of what I'm looking at I don't mind either of these pitchers and then you got Herman here 91 plate appearances a 20.9 K percentage 256 batting average here I like both of these pitchers both are what I would expect if if I am looking in cash for whatever reason I would be looking at uh, Drew Rasmussen for cash and Herman for GPP that's just kind of in my mindset when Herman is on, his stuff is fantastic. But if he's off a little bit, he can get hit hard. And the Tampa Bay Rays can get hit hard. Uh, we've They can hit hard. We, we've seen that. They did just lose a series to the Orioles, which this entire season doesn't make any sense to me right now. The Pirates being quote-unquote good and in first place. Uh, the Dodgers were behind the Diamondbacks for a while. The Cardinals were X amount of games under five hundred. Um, the Yankees being in last play. It, it just, it's weird to start. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Giants had the Diamondbacks. Next game, Alex Cobb versus Tommy Henry. I don't know why these pictures aren't showing now, but whatever. Cobb, 91 plate appearances, a 275 batting average, striking out 16.5%. And then Tommy Henry, 10 plate appearances, a 125 batting average. I would like this game a little bit more if it were in San Francisco, but it's not. It's in Arizona. So we'll take what we can get. And. Yeah, that's basically it. I like Cobb for I, both GPPs. I don't mind. Again, we're into the GPPs today. For me, at least. That's my thought process. If there's three games on a any given slate, that is a GPP-only slate for me. But I do, I wanted to dig into these numbers, but we'll dig into the BBP at the end of this. Um, I will be looking at some of the Arizona bats against Cobb because he has given up a 275 average. And then as of right now, uh, day of the game, Oakland still has not announced who is pitching for them. But you got Nate Evaldi versus Oakland A's, the pitcher, whoever it is, in Oakland. Give me all of the Evaldi here. 29 plate appearances, 103 batting average, 37.9 K percentage, and he's been doing really well, minus one start that I picked him up in my season long and then dropped him. He's been doing very well, and he's got a fantastic matchup against the A's. So those are the pitchers. If you want to see, here's the weather concerns. The White Sox at the Royal, 65% chance of rain. It's the same storm that should be hitting my house as well. Um, it's looking kind of nasty right now, so this is something to pay attention to. Um, if one person, if you think this game gets played, comment that down below. If the game does get played full five innings, then I, one person who comments and subscribes and leaks, leaves a like on the video will be given a free month of MLB DFS. So if you got to like the video, be a subscriber and tell me, I think the Kansas City Chicago game gets played. If it does, five total innings is an actual game. One person who comments will be chosen as the winner. So good luck on that. That is the weather concerns. And then just looking at the bats. 
I mean, overall, if you want to break it down, Tim Anderson has the most amount of at bats or a most amount of hits against the opponent. Brady Singer, he's seven for thirteen with six singles, a double. That's five thirty nine. Christian Walker against Cobb, six for fourteen with four singles, a double, and a home run, batting four twenty nine. Yandy Diaz versus Domingo Herman, six for 17, three singles, two doubles, one home run, 353 batting average. Then Sal Perez against Clevenger has two home runs. Correa against Darvish has two home runs. Uh, yeah, and you, we can break it down. There's not a lot here, um, but yeah. So it's broken down, and this is all on the website. You can go check out fantasyteamadvisor.com. It's all over there, and we have that for you in charts. We also have. Uh, our cheat sheet, we have trends, we have a bunch of stuff for you. So go check out fantasyteamadvisor.com. And if you found this video helpful at all, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Good luck today, and as always, bring up some bacon. Peace.